Hey guys, it's Lakeisha and Johnny with What's Next. And we just wanted to make this video to say thank you so much to everyone who has helped us get to this point of being monetized. Over this past year, um, we have had so many people that have supported us. Uh, thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for any amount of time that you put into uh, watching us and helping us out or whatever you may have done, commenting, giving us a like. We really appreciate it very much. So in turn, we want to just help out anybody who may be in the same position we were and wanting to become monetized. And we just want to give some tips to kind of help you out. So that way you won't be kind of wondering what you need to do to get there because that's exactly what we were doing. So uh, number one, just make sure that you post very often um, we at first were not posting very often and that was one of our biggest things because people will forget about you if you don't remind them that you're there right yeah sure yeah we were we thought we might be overdoing it by posting too much uh, so then we realized that the more we posted uh, the more uh, comments more more views uh, that we were getting when we didn't go post because you know you don't want someone going to your page and seeing the same videos for four or five days in a row is like, okay, there's nothing new. And they, they lose interest and then, then they may not return to your channel. Yeah. And you can definitely see the, the, the people who have been doing it for a long time that are, you know, really further advanced than we are with tons of subscribers. I mean, they have videos that they post. You'll see them very regular, sometimes several times a day. Um, they they're setting the example so not to necessarily copy them but just use them as a good example so that's what we did and uh, we noticed that the more we post then the more people watch yeah. so definitely one good tip um also thumbnails now johnny was more into this than me i just wanted to get the videos done i never really was into doing the videos in the first place um but the thumbnails um, are very important too and he learned that early on so yeah you, you always want to make sure you're grabbing the viewers attention uh by just reaching out and grabbing them with uh catchy headlines uh nice bright pictures or thumbnails so the, the say hey what's going on there let me log on to see what's happening on there but you also you don't want to be misleading you don't want to make a fake something yes a headline that doesn't match the video so right. you always want to make sure you don't do that because a lot of times that could turn people off and they can unsubscribe so you also want to make sure that you know you're being honest that your, that your thumbnail is what you say it's going to be when they watch the video yes because that that's that's something that's made me mad before when i've started watching a video because i saw that the headline i'm like oh my gosh I, what's this all about and then the video had nothing to do with the title so make sure that it in fact does and also I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence with this. So we've went back and forth um, about the ones where where people make kind of like funny faces and <laughs> and and act really silly, silly on them. But I guess overall viewers like that stuff. So I guess get to know your audience and get to know what um, they like. And if they're interested in the that type of stuff, then you definitely want to do that for them. Yeah. And then and also, you want to ask your audience uh, for their feedback. Tell them to comment. They, mm -hmm. You offer me some feedback, comments, what you like, don't like. Um, so feel free to ask your, your viewers yeah. to comment on what you're doing. So uh, yeah. that's a great way to kind of judge um, what you are doing or can do or should do. Sometimes they'll tell you whether you want them to or not. <laughs> <laughs> and and. Take it into consideration, but remember one person telling you something, uh, whether it's bad or good, is not the whole world telling you. So don't take that to heart either. Um, but oh, following the analytics too, because YouTube is really good source. I mean, they're so helpful. They give you so much information. You just have to pay attention to it because they have analytics on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, on a monthly basis. Um, yeah. They send you so much information, yeah. and if you really want to get monetized, you can pay attention to the information, and it'll help you so much. 
Yeah, it's almost like they want you to be monetized because they send you so much mm -hmm. information. They tell you where your audience, where your audience is coming from. Uh, it tells you they tell you how how long your audiences are watching. Right. Um, how long, how much they've shared, right. um, recommended. Um, so study analytics and just and when you start seeing some videos that that analytics are off the chart, you kind of want to say maybe we should kind of hang in this niche a little bit, yeah. or in this theme, or maybe yeah. this game, or whatever, right. and just and just keep on appealing to your audience. Right. Oh, and also um, the analytics tell you the other people that your audience are watching. Yes. So then you kind of know what your audience is into other than you yep. so it may be the similar things or it may be something different so with johnny and i um we have several things on our channel because we do the travel we do the slots we do the cooking um and so with that we have almost several different audiences um, everybody doesn't like the same things but we just decided to do that because that's all the stuff that we like yeah. And we knew it wasn't going to be one person that was going to like all of that. Um, but we enjoy all of that. Yeah. So we wanted to. Yeah, we didn't want to create four different YouTube channels. Yeah. Because then like competing against, you know, I know some are in different niches and things of that yeah. nature. But we decided we wanted to do everything that we like to do. Yeah. And keep it all in one place. Right. And right. Uh, so we got playlists, like our slot plays in the playlist, our cookings in the playlist, our yeah. travels in the playlist. Right. So we all have separate playlists. So if you come to our channel, if you're not into the slot, you're here for the cooking. You just yep. the playlist is there. There's nothing but cooking in that playlist, right. and right. so on and so on. And it was something different too because most people on YouTube just focus on one thing, and that's okay. You can focus on just one thing, um, but we just chose to do something different. And thankfully, in less than a year, we were able to monetized. be monetized. So I guess it worked. But yeah. um, I think that. In all honesty, I think that YouTube does tell you to focus on one thing. We just, we weren't, I guess we weren't really going for the monetization at first. Yeah, we just were just having fun. Having fun, just posting um, things and letting yeah. friends see it. And then next thing you know, um, it just worked we're, out. Yeah, we're over 14,000 subscribers, mm -hmm. which I want to thank every, each and every person yes, who has subscribed, so who has recommended, who has shared. Um, greatly appreciate it. Yes, so much. Um, and then, and that's the other thing is, I have to say probably the most important thing on our list as far as a tip is have fun. I mean, make sure that whatever you're doing, I know that some people are obviously doing this. Um, I don't know if it's as a job or a career, but at the same time, make sure it's something that you enjoy doing because then when you're making the videos, when you're editing the videos, um, when you're going out to get content, then you're going to enjoy yourself. Because, like we said, we didn't plan on this being uh, something we were going for to be monetized. We were just doing our every day, hanging yeah. out with each other and having a good time. And it just turned out this way. So we're very appreciative. And now we still can have fun. And, um, you know, it, it's become kind of a little business, I guess, on the <laughs> yeah. side. I don't know. Yeah, um, hopefully. Hopefully, tenus, yeah. Tenus and if not, grow. it's okay because we... We're gonna keep on doing it, and thanks to y'all, we we uh, have a reason to continue doing it other than just enjoying ourselves. So um, we have a lot more to come in the future. Uh, lots more travel. We have a lot of travel coming. Um, lots. We're moving around a lot. Um, you've probably seen that we've been in Vegas a lot recently. Um, Phoenix a lot. North the Phoenix area. Um, we still are in Texas for you, Kickapoo. Lucky Eagle, folks, uh, we get a lot of fans that come up to us there. Thank you so much for making. Please don't be scared to come up to us. We're just everyday people. Yeah. Um, and uh, But we both still work. We're just normal, everyday people. So please come and talk to us if you see us. Yeah. Um, be prepared because next time anybody comes talk to us, we're going to actually record it. Yes. We want to, yes. We want to record uh, the interactions. We've missed so see. many times that people yeah. have come up to us and talked to us, and we have not taking out the camera so we said the next time that that happened we were going to ask if we could record so um, but we do have a lot of travel planned um and uh a lot more to come yeah. lots of good food to come everything yeah we're, so. we're going to try to come up with some ideas you know you might see you might see some where 20 dollars slot play 
four yeah. different four different gangs. Uh, yeah. Lakeisha has an idea. We're gonna try travel around the country to every because we got Caesar's Resort. Oh yeah, you know travel we're Caesar's fans. Every Caesar's, every Caesar's yeah. Resort around the country. Right. Um, I mean, some of you might saw we, we went to Atlantis, which was part oh, of. Oh yeah, Caesar. in the Bahamas, that was so, Caesar's. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a lot of places that they have on the yeah. map. We're gonna try to uh, just see everything, record everything, so you yeah. guys, if you ever think about going to any state. That has a Caesars. We've done the homework for you. We've done yep. the room the room tours for you. Yep. Um, so look for look for that. Um, I think uh, in, uh, end of this month actually we're going to be in Canada. On, yeah, Caesars Ontario. Yeah, Ontario, Ontario Canada. So we're going to be there. So uh, make sure y'all turn those notifications so you can get that information. Right. Get those videos. And it's not that we don't like anybody other than Caesars. We got to say that disclaimer because <laughs> we think any rewards program is good. Caesars is just the one that we have chosen that has given us a lot along the way, who's treated us very well. Thank you so much, Caesars Entertainment. Thank you. Thank you, Caesars Resorts and Casinos. Um, but yes, we will be visiting all of those. That's our goal. Every single one. There's a lot. How many? They're like oh, in every many. state now. Yeah. Every state, several countries. So anyway. We look forward to seeing you guys again. Come and see us if you can. And um, we will see you next time, right? Yes. And once again, thank you for helping us get monetized mm -hmm. in 11 months. We never thought that would possibly, in possibly happen in a million years. So yeah. uh, we appreciate everything. Um, please comment below any uh, suggestions that you or, or anything you want to ask us that okay. can help you get to, get to where you want to be. Um, feel free. I know we can't put it all in this in this video right now. Right. But if you send comments and stuff like that, we'll, oh, definitely, yeah, we'll answer, definitely answer uh, how we can help you get to where you want to be. Yes. Uh, so. All right. Well, this is Lakeisha and Johnny with What's Next. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Have a good one, guys.